Dick Joseph was one of our town's prominent citizens in the 1900s. I'm just sorry that I didn't know him as a, as a younger person when he was really wheeling and dealing. The man had a lot of foresight. And just a, an example of an entrepreneur who just grabs onto opportunities and, and, and a, a very giving person at the same time. The story of how he got to Truckee is quite interesting because he was actually riding the Southern Pacific train over the mountain and fell in love with Truckee just passing through. It wasn't the, quite the Wild West town that it had been in the 1800s, but it still had that flavor. Dick Joseph worked as a barber at one time, worked as a photographer. At one time he operated a bar in downtown Truckee. And then his primary business was the Gateway Motel. He was developing the, the whole Gateway area and became one of the major landowners in Truckee. He had acquired the west end of Truckee and a group of people were trying to start a hospital. Dick had made it clear that he was willing to donate the land. Story goes, they, they picked out a lot that uh, I'll, we'll take that for our hospital. And his answer was immediately, as I understand it, uh, what are you building, a, a, a house or a hospital? You can't build a hospital on that little plot of land. You've got to have more land. Take more. The asset of that much land acreage uh, at no cost is is really significant and so it was the type of thing that helps create the momentum to really launch an organization. He was always very interested in, in bringing this kind of help to Truckee. He lost his wife after the birth of his twin daughters trying to get her to the hospital in Reno and there was no ambulance service up here. It was always Dick's belief that had there been a hospital here in Truckee that her life would have been saved. Some of us have an experience and are left with that experience. And then there are other people, and I think the Joseph family is a good example of somebody who has an experience and then says, what am I going to do about it? Dick also had her son, LaVon. He entered service in World War II and was killed in Okinawa. And in LaVon's memory, Dick dedicated the hospital. He felt that in coming to Truckee, that was the luckiest thing that ever happened to him and it was his town and he just believed in giving back to the people. And I think that goes back to his early beginnings and, and the experience of his family had. Dick Joseph was a, an Armenian immigrant. Later on he sent a younger brother back to see who he could find. The brother found their parents and two younger sisters, Roxy and Ozid. They were coming out of Armenia and were captured by the Turks. It was turmoil. The two girls, Roxy and Ozid, were refugees. And then by happenstance, Dick Joseph puts an ad in an Armenian newspaper. Asking if anybody knew of the whereabouts of any of his family, if there was any of them alive. And it's like fate uh, that the people who were taking care of Roxy and Ozid, Dick Joseph's sisters, that had been split and were tens of thousands of miles apart, um, happens to pick up the ad and recognize that this must be uh, these two girls. That's how they got together. It was just kind of really dumb luck, very fortunate. And then they spent the rest of their lives together. They followed his trail, if you will, as, as being charitable, uh, helping out uh, where the need was. Even after Dick died, Ozid and Roxy continued to donate. Almost every time there was a major addition needed, money was forthcoming from the Joseph family. It was always just so remarkable um, because they had a very modest uh, living arrangement, this old gateway motel, and what populated the walls were photographs of Dick Joseph going way back, old photographs of uh, Roxy and Ozid together, but also right there, front and center, with all these family photographs, are these mementos of philanthropy. So as much about them was family, you just knew that when you were in this environment, you were dealing with a family who lived, breathed philanthropy and community. They were always very proud of Truckee. They always liked to do things for Truckee. This was their home and they were going to make it right. That kind of philanthropy and giving just serves as a model for the community to realize that it's about all of us giving in order to make the community a much better place.